new report by Amnesty sheds light on the abuse faced by some domestic workers. The government promises to punish employers who mistreat their staff. Will you really have to start paying to enter public parks in Qatar? Keep watching to find out. Spanish researchers could hold the key to reducing coronavirus symptoms. And lastly, models of Qatar's World Cup stadiums take centre stage in Nice. Hi, I'm Asha and you're watching The Roundup. Now, many domestic workers in Qatar are being forced to work 16 to 20 hours per day without rest, according to Amnesty International. In a damning report by the Human Rights Group, domestic workers claim they are stressed, abused and overworked. Amnesty spoke to 105 female workers. Five of them claim they were sexually abused and in some cases raped by their employer. The government say they are ready to work with Amnesty to investigate the claims and ensure all guilty parties are held to account. They say efforts are ongoing to ensure domestic workers are protected from abuse and exploitation. Head over to the Doha News website for the full story. Officials have learned that imposing fees on public spaces is no walk in the park. Well, lots of people have been confused over the new entry charges to public parks this week. Well, we can confirm that the new entry fees only relate to the zoo at Al Hor Park. The Ministry of Municipality and Environment cleared things up, so don't worry, you and your loved ones can still enjoy Qatar's 90 parks free of charge. And the latest on coronavirus, researchers say a drug used to treat cancer could prove to be an effective treatment for the coronavirus. This comes after a Spanish pharmaceutical company successfully completed a clinical trial of Aplodin, raising hopes that this could be the light at the end of the tunnel. The official government advice here in Qatar is to still maintain social distancing, personal hygiene and wear a face covering when in public. And lastly, models of the eight stadiums built ahead of the 2022 FIFA World Cup have been shown at an exhibit in France as part of the Qatar France Year of Culture. The models were displayed at the National Sports Museum in Nice, where officials praised Qatar's distinguished level of international sporting events in recent years. Now that's all from me today, but if you want to keep up with all the latest news in Doha, make sure you follow us on our social media platforms and dohanews.co.